We will organize the American people around the concept that all people in this country have the right to health care. And at the end of the day, we are going to win that struggle. Senator, would you include the 11 million on the commentary? Absolutely, in the plan, absolutely. absolutely. When I talk about health care being a human right, last time I heard that undocumented people are human beings as well. Our next guest is Senator Bernie Sanders. Thank you. Go ahead. Good to see you, sir. As the son of an immigrant, somebody who came to this country at the age of 17, very little education, no money, couldn't speak a word of English. I am appalled and disgusted by Trump's racism and his xenophobia. I had a very emotional meeting just uh, two or three weeks ago in California with some undocumented young people, beautiful young people. And I listened to them tell me that they hesitated to apply for college because they would not get the financial aid they needed because they're undocumented. We need the best educated population in the world. That means we're going to make our public colleges and universities tuition free and open that to the undocumented as well. On the first day that I am president of the United States, do everything that I can to end the fear that so many people in this country are experiencing and end the damage that Trump has done to this country. Today, I make a very simple promise to you that protecting the undocumented, that comprehensive immigration reform, that reinstating the legal status to the 1.8 million young people in DACA, that creating a humane border policy will be at the top of my agenda. This will not be something we will do in a year or a, in two years. We will bring the best minds in the immigrant community together to help us write the best laws and to use the powers of the presidency. Our approach is radically different. We are going to look at the real problems facing the working families of this country. Low wages, poor educational opportunity, housing that is not affordable, 500,000 people sleeping out on the street, a criminal justice system which is broken. We bring all of our people together, black and white and Latino, Native American, Asian American, and we say that we stand together to create the economy and the government that works for all of us, not just the people on top. We did the interview, the exclusive interview with the president. He called you crazy and tired. How do we restore and change this dialogue? He called me crazy. 